Good morning everyone, 7.15 on Wednesday. Feels a bit cooler. It's dark in here, Lou. It's so dark I can't see you. Right, it's time for coffee. I bought my coffee up already. It's over there. Now all my videos are from this chair with me doing this. I'm just editing. I'll try not to wobble so much. Um, I'm gonna go to Target. Ashley's just getting ready. I just returned a call. I tell you what, I, I, I love sarcastic messages. And looking forward to the weekend when it's supposed to be down, down, down. Because Pete and I are up early again on Sunday. We only have one team on Sunday morning, but we still have to be there at 7:30 to do that and then actually I'm working the next three Sundays because then we have the little kids over down the road I think we have about how many teams did he tell me we had what did he do with the schedule actually um, but yeah we've got quite a few I don't know what he did with the schedule he had it last night because he came up and showed it to me at 11 o'clock and said what do you think I'm like let's do this Oh, well, but yeah, the next three Sundays I'm working. Oh, sorry, Lou, I stood on your toe. So, oh, and again, I didn't touch you that time. Pete needs a new chair. Look at his chair. It's because Pete is in his chair 24-7 when he's home. I think it's time for a new one. So I must give Ashley the dates. If she's not working, see if she can help me because there's a lot more kids and they are the teeny tiny tots that run around, throw balls, climb the fence, <laughs> jump on the equipment, like to click the camera if nobody's looking. Oh, and this is the one where we lost the tent last year, remember? We had the really busy day, Ashley couldn't work with me because she was working and we had real big wind gusts that just came out of nowhere and took the tent right out from me, up and over the fence. And Pete had to go through the insurance because his camera got knocked over and his lens broke and all sorts so he ended up with a new camera out of it. The insurance company were really fast which was nice in uh, taking care of that so he could get his new camera and they fixed his lens so he didn't do too bad but it was like panic. Right, the dogs have been in and out like a yo-yo. Look at them sitting together. Roxy, say hi to everyone. Louis, say hi to everyone. You guys hot? Where are you going? This carpet needs a good vacuum too because Louis is rolling all over it and only the black hair seem to come out, don't they, Lou? Yes, I do. So we did target. I didn't think to get my camera out because it was quite... Everywhere we were, people were... Just ordered Domino's for lunch. It is 1.30. I need to deflate again. <laughs> um, I had some right humdingers of calls today. So I was just sharing them with Pete and of course because I'm sharing them with Pete. It gets me all riled up again. <sighs> I am in awe of how much people blame other people like they are never wrong they're never wrong and they love to put you in your place and when you actually put them ever so politely back in their place it's like oh well never mind that never mind it's no big deal suddenly it's not a big deal because you realize you're wrong I have high blood pressure I'm not supposed to get worked up <laughs> am I Roxy I'm telling you, it's so hot. They said it was going to start cooling down tonight. They lied. It is still 90 in here. And my skin is clammy. Uh, every time I walk downstairs, it's like the biggest effort. And I've been up and down like a hundred times today. I think I put my uh, watch on at 9.30, which does my steps and my standing and exercise and all that stuff. And by 11.30 it was like, well done, you're done standing for the day. I'm like, well actually I'm not, cause it's only 11.30. But that was how many times I was up and down, up and down, up and down today. <laughs> it's like, 
I haven't even begun. I haven't even left the house yet. But yeah, Pete does not need me to go during the day tomorrow, but I do have to go meet him over there after school for the yearbook meeting, which will be lots and lots of fun. Our first yearbook meeting of the season, of the year. Now all the work begins and we'll see if we can put our little group together. We have a few that are returning from last year. If you don't stop barking, Mrs., I'm going to have to buy you a baby muzzle because you are barking at everything today. Um... Yeah, there's a few returning. I, I know three for sure that are coming back from last year. And wonder if four and five are coming back because I don't think they've been in for their senior portraits yet. And I told them last year that they needed to make their appointment over the summer. And they're like, we promised because I said, you can see what trouble we have with the yearbook. And they're like, oh, yeah, I don't think either, either of them came in. Little rat bags. I'll have to talk to them tomorrow. So Pete will be there with me for the yearbook meeting tomorrow. Next week I will be there on my own. And I've just realized Pete's double booked me. Because we're doing senior portraits on a Thursday and the yearbook's on a Thursday, he's not doing it with me. Ne he's not doing them next week. Mike is, so that means I have to be there. So I will be at the school from 7.30 next Thursday until 5 o'clock. It's not fair. <laughs> Better take lunch with me, even though we're doing it on the room off the cafeteria. I'm not going over there and getting cafeteria food. Sorry, I'm not standing in line with all the hungry students. So I'll take sandwiches or something. Oh, I should have took. Um, if I'd have known, I'd have got stuff for Pete today. I didn't even think. But he will go up and get himself a burger. They love him down there. He walks right up like anyone. And because tomorrow won't be a crazy busy day for him, because it's makeup day. But right now he's calling Cablevision because on his, when he was on his way home, he's trying to retrieve his emails and it locked him out, asking for a password. And when he tried to put his password in, it said there'd been some unusual activity in his email account, so they blocked him out. To meet a friend, she's getting a tattoo on the inside of her finger. My mother's probably sitting there right now going, what? Ugh, what are we going to do? She's 24. I have no say. But let me see if we've got any pretty sunset. I don't know. I think the sun is melting everybody because even Pete said it was wicked in the studio where he was today. It's hot, hot, hot. Foxy's on the stairs. Little Foxy. Foxy Roo. I need to paint this whole, little hallway. Oh, it's bright, isn't it? <laughs> No, it's just a big sun and no clouds, so it doesn't look pretty. It's just gives you spots in front of your eyes. All right, guys, I will show you what Ashley has done to herself when she gets home. How did it get to be? Quarter to 11 already. I have no idea. Anyway, it is. Or 20 to 11. Louis just started coughing again out of the blue. But when he's begging for food, he's not coughing. Only when I start talking. Maybe he's had enough of me talking. All right, guys. Well, Ash did get her little tattoos. If you follow her on Instagram or Facebook or Snapchat, you'd have seen them. But uh, she's gone in the room, so I will show you them tomorrow. She has work tomorrow, so she's going to drop me off at the school on her way over um, to work so I can go Pete, meet Pete for the yearbook meeting. But apart from that, I think we're just gonna be home tomorrow, chilling out, <laughs> chilling out, being the operative word. The weatherman lied, said it was gonna cool down tonight, but now they're saying Friday. And it's only gonna be for a couple of days and then it's gonna get warm again. <laughs> I don't like it. I really feel ugh, with it. It's just that humid. It was like 85% humidity today. It's just the worst. Makes you feel like an old hag. Anyway, this old hag's gonna say goodnight. So I hope you've all had a brilliant, brilliant day. Whatever you guys did today, I hope it was a good one and we will definitely see you tomorrow. Good night, guys.